In GTA, you have lots of interiors that can be accessed through markers. This concept is not bad, but what if you were able to walk straight into the interiors by just opening the door? There are a few interiors that can be easily turned into open world interiors. That is what you will be learning about in this video, and in the next few videos, I will show how it's done for those interiors. Unfortunately, not every interior is able to be moved into main world as some of their sizes are different from their main world exterior counterpart. Before you get started editing the interior models, you will first need to prepare a few things. In your GTA SA Assets folder that you set up in the Extracting GTA SA Assets video, clone the interior folder and name it Interior Plus Doors. Open that folder in a new Explorer window. Open GTA 3's Models folder in the other window. Move the door DF files shown on screen from GTA 3 to the folder you just created. If you are curious how I got this list, I just went on to Prineside and searched door. Every door that is not from SAMP was added to the list. The reason you want the doors in the same folder is to avoid a duplication issue when changing DFF directory in the IPL script. In your GTA SA Assets folder, create a new folder named GTA 3 plus NTDFF. Copy all models from GTA 3 and int folders and paste into the new folder. Next, locate these files and create a folder for them named exterior and interior files. You will also need the collisions, but not for the doors. In 3D's Max, make sure that your decimals are set to 5 in preferences, and then import the DFF models using the Heroes plugin, name shown on screen. You can use Keen's Batch Loader script to batch import the models after importing one model to inherit its import settings. When the DFF models are imported, move them into their own layer and name it XT plus NTDFF. Save the project. Create a new 3DS Max project and import collisions using Goldfish's scripts, names shown on screen. You do not need to import the door collisions. When each collision is imported, move each collision into their own layer and name it the same as the collision. This is because collisions typically contain multiple objects. Create a new layer named Enterable Interiors. Import the map IPL attached in the video description. Use models from the GTA 3 plus INT DFF folder. It will import all exteriors, interiors, and doors used for the interiors in this video, 
at the correct coordinates so that you don't have to import them one by one yourself. Later on in this video, you will also learn how all of this was prepared if you would like to tackle it yourself. Select all objects and enable backface culling in viewport properties. Use the Replace Import function to replace all of the main exterior and interior objects that were imported with Goldfish's scripts to be replaced with the models imported with the Heroes plugin, as that is the plugin we will use to export models later. In Viewport Settings, disable transparency to better see what is going on. In the next few videos, I will cover how to individually convert each of the shown interiors. How I did this? Import every interior, both from GTA underscore int.img and some readable ones from GTA SA data maps directory that you can learn about in this video. Save project and create a new project for doors to avoid a duplication issue when changing the DFF path. Locate all door models from Prineside and extract DFFs into its own folder. Import all game IPLs using the door folder as DFF path. Add door models to a group so that they're easier to select later. Save project. Load the main project and merge the door project. Hide the interior bits. Import the whole map, chunk by chunk. Select the door models and go into pivot mode to easily pinpoint their location. Still in pivot mode, select the buildings the doors are connected with. Hide selection just to see if missed anything.
When selected everything, control I and delete unnecessary world models. Repeat until each door in the map has an associated model. If some doors don't have their own exteriors, double check that you loaded all IPLs or reference PrineSide or MTA map editor. To figure out how the interiors and exteriors are connected, I created a separate project and imported all readable IPLs with only NX set to import. No inst or anything as I only want enx, which are markers. These enx primitives has custom attributes with the name of the interior. I merge the separate project into the main project. I went around and prefixed every enex with their attribute name, and that way I ended up with multiple enexes in interior world and main world, which shows me exactly which enexes are connected as they share the same prefix name. Some exterior shares the same interior so there may be more than one match. To make this easier I added a floating scene explorer next to my modifier panel so that I could minimize the movement between the two. 1. Double-click attribute and copy. Two. Click Scene Explorer object once. Control up arrow paste and add underscore to separate the prefix and the name. Hit enter. Rinse and repeat. I had to make multiple dot max scenes because the IPL importer started bugging a bit, as it re-imported the same objects I had previous imported, even when selecting different IPL files. That is why the merge scene option is used a lot.